man gets sentenced for pretending to be Rock Nation and at the same time pretending to be Wu Tang Clan. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. Mike. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So apparently. <laughs> I've actually, I brought you this story uh, previously. So this is just an update on this story. I brought you this story last year. So apparently, there was a guy that just got sentenced for pretending to be a part of Rock Nation and the Wu-Tang Clan. Okay. Now, uh, just so we can just be clear on this and i want to make sure that that this is i don't know what to tell you so there was a there's actually a group of them it was more than one apparently so basically uh the way that the this particular i'll tell you about what this this particular i guess grift was uh they called a hotel um in atlanta i believe it was in georgia in georgia they called a hotel in georgia and they booked the hotel in Georgia. They booked a couple of rooms. They said, look, it's for an artist. We got an artist that's coming through. We need some rooms. So they, they booked the hotel. They gave the hotel a credit card. But they said, don't charge the credit card. Because we're going to give you a check after the, at the end of our stay. So there's no, re no reason to charge the credit card. Don't worry about it. We're going to write you a check. So uh, basically, they said that they were Rock Nation and they were, um, you know, they were because they called. So they said that they was with Rock Nation or whatever the whatever the whatever the case is. Then uh, basically, what happened was the hotel said, <laughs> "Wait, hold on a minute." They contacted the actual Rock Nation, who then let them know, "Nah, it is these." There's these grifters, they going around, they're pretending to be us. It's not us. Call the police. <laughs> the hotel then called the police. Um, the police got the information. They said, all right, so we're going to see how this plays out. They waited for the people to show up and actually book the room, actually take the room. I'm going to let y'all know something. I'm going to put you on a game. Um, there's a reason why when you are, let's say, you're trying to shoplift. You can literally, I don't know if they change the rules or change the laws, but you can literally put stuff in your pockets as long as you do not walk out the front door with them. Even if the police is called, as long as you don't leave the building with the goods, you have not committed a crime yet. So what the, what the, what the police did or the FBI, whoever it is that busted them, they waited for them to show up and book in, you know, um, you know, show up. Hey, we're here. Where's our rooms? So when they did this, the police watched. Waited for them to get their rooms. And then after they did, went through all the paperwork or whatever, whatever. Then they arrested them. So apparently this guy, uh, his name is Aaron Bonds Burpo. He's 29 of Crest. You, Florida. He was sentenced to seven years in federal prison Monday after pleading guilty for committing wire fraud. Um, according to David H. Estes, acting U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Georgia. Uh, so he also had a co-conspirator, a Walker Wash. This guy got two first names. A Walker Washington, who's 52. He's awaiting sentencing. 
Uh, he's already pled guilty. Uh, so, <laughs> yo, look, this is all I got to say about this, right? They're going to be going after, I think they need to go after the scammers. Not for nothing. I, I think the scammers, you guys had your time. I think that they have to go after you guys. I'm not, you know, saying trying to put nobody in jail. But when you realize the damage that is done <laughs> by individuals like this, then you start looking at the world a little bit different. Um, so if you're out there scamming, I don't want you to get caught. Stop scamming. Figure out a way. Either get yourself a hustle. Scamming is not hustling. Either get yourself a hustle, uh, open up a business, get a job, something, you know, just something. Get on YouTube, stay off of YouTube, like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so, um, in addition, in addition to all that that I just told you, also, uh, there was a young lady, um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that in a second, but this is, I find this, I find this humorous. Uh, also, there was a young lady that had contacted them and said that um, basically her and her cousins have been recruited by Barnes Burpo and Washington in Alabama for $2,000 worth of services. <laughs> I'm saying, what services, baby girl? I don't think you can get recouped. Anyway, for two thousand dollars worth of services in Alabama, uh, for which they were never compensated, she also sent a 2014 article detailing Washington's arrest for pretending to be a rapper and defrauding hotels. Um, Barnes Burpo uh, was ordered to pay nearly three hundred thousand dollars back to 19 businesses. This guy doesn't have a job. I see. This is the problem. Let me explain to you the problem with this whole scam is all right. These dudes don't have jobs to begin with. How can they pay companies back that they've taken resources from? Anyway, uh, 19 businesses uh, that he had already defrauded. He's oh, he's also required to serve three years uh, supervised, uh, super, three years supervised upon his release. Now, with all that being said, I want to know what you guys think about that. Go down to the comment section. I don't feel bad for any scammers. No scammers. I'm not talking about hustlers. Hustlers and scammers is totally different. At least drug dealers give you something you want. Like, <laughs> just give it in the stack. You never see nobody going and buying drugs. Like, oh man, why are you making me do this? No, you know what I'm saying? At least drug dealers give you something you want. Scammers just what in the hell? So I don't I don't really have no I, I don't I don't have no I, I don't have that thing in me that's like scammers is cool. I don't have that thing in me. Shout out to you guys. Um, so basically when they caught him at the hotel, uh, the hotel's director of sales noticed the same group had tried to book rooms before that's when he had contacted rock nation. They had tried to book rooms previously. Um, I'm assuming that, you know, for whatever the reason is they wasn't able to book the room. So that's probably why he realized that this was a red flag. It's the same people that keep trying to book rooms. And this is this is just, what do you mean? You want to give us your credit card. You don't want us to charge the card. And then you're going to give us a, a check at the end? A check that could bounce. Nah, homie. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, um, after verifying that the card that they actually was trying to use was stolen. That's when the FBI was contacted. Um, <laughs> the guy's name is Agent Jonathan Escobar. Dude, they shouldn't even let you work for the FBI with a name like that. How, first of all, how did you get Jonathan and your last name is Escobar? Like, what was your, your parents wasn't sure what was going on? They was like, we don't want people to know. Let's name him something safe. Anyway, um, so that's when they went to the hotel. They watched the hotel. They saw the people check in. They saw who they were. Boom, got you. But this is the thing about this whole, this, this particular, uh, shout out to, I'm, I'm actually reading this article right now, I believe from the New York Times, I mean, pardon me, the Washington Post. Um, this is the thing, it, it's not in this particular article, but I've covered this story previously. These guys was running around basically saying that they were booking an artist, like the artist that, that, that they were rolling with was a Wu-Tang Clan artist, but they were Rock Nation. Now, what I don't understand is 
Do Wu Tang work with Rock Nation? I don't even know if that's a thing. Could somebody put that down below? I don't even know if that's a thing. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is three hundred thousand dollars worth of defrauded. They've been getting away with this forever. So you trying to tell me you've been? Oh, also they was doing it with car rentals. Like they was renting cars, everything. You understand what I'm saying? Not just hotel rooms. They was living high on the hog. I don't know no other way to tell you. And they wasn't paying for nothing. Everything was grifting. So I, I want to say this and then we're going to get out of here. If you could run a freaking, I don't know what you want to call this. If you could be a scammer and you could run a scam, you could open a legitimate damn business. Like what in the hell was wrong with you? Like I never get that. I don't understand that. It just, it slips my mind. If you could run a scam, you can open a legitimate business and make legitimate money. It probably isn't going to be the amounts that you scamming out. But I mean, you can transition. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gig. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. My Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you.